everybody and welcome to another uh, video tutorial for After Effects. Today we're going to do this slick animation of a meteorite plummeting towards some hapless planet. I, I didn't want to scare anyone so I didn't make it planet Earth. But uh, anyways, this is all After Effects. No plugins, nothing of that nature. Uh, just good old elbow grease. So I've already got the stage set up here as you can see it's 1920 by 1080 at uh, about 24 frames per second and uh, as you can see everything's all set and we're just going to dive right in I've already made a solid background here you can make it any color you'd like because the next thing we're going to do is make our nice uh, space gradient so first off we're going to go to the gradient ramp best way to do that is just type in ramp you can type in gradient as well, but you're going to find a few more options. So drag that onto your stage. And uh, as you can see, it's black and white. So we, we want the black to stay. So what I'm going to do is change the white to kind of this dark skyish blue. You can choose your own if you'd like, but what we want is we want the blackness of space to fade into this nice blue. So I want to change my start of ramp to the upper left corner my end of ramp I want to place at the lower right corner and so there we go there's our um, atmosphere if you want to call it that so I always kinda of like to shy these so I don't have to mess with them later on so the next thing we're gonna worry about is our star field so um, I actually learned how to do this the other day through another tutorial so this is kinda of nice so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to make a new solid. Really doesn't matter completely what color it is. We'll go, yeah, we'll go white. We might as well. So we'll go white here. And you're going to type something into your effects and presets. You're going to type ball, B-A-L-L. -L. You're going to get this kind of strange preset name. It's called CC Ball Action. So go ahead and drop that on your layer. You're going to see this kind of strange grid thing happen. So I'll show you some of the things you can do. So we want to crank our scatter way, way up. Um, probably about, oh, maybe 480, somewhere around there. Okay, so now our balls are scattered all out. What we want to do is we want to change the grid spacing. We want to get that to, for this one, about 16. And then we want to move the ball size to about 16 as well. So, as you can see, we've got a nice uh, field of stars now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and change the, uh, you know what we'll do. We'll go ahead and just change the transparency, knock that back a little bit so they're not quite so bright. Of course, you can leave them bright if you'd like, but I don't want them to overpower the scene. So I'll knock that back to about 50%. We'll name that layer stars. And... Uh, so we're starting all the way from the sky to the stars and the next thing we want to do is the planet so I already grabbed this planet from vectezy.com uh, it's it just uh, is a vector planet figure of course you can create your own planet uh, you can do that in illustrator you can even do it in after effects but uh, this isn't a tutorial about making a planet necessarily so um, I'm just gonna use this one that's already ready-made go ahead and drag it onto our onto our stage here and we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, change the position properties and I want this I want it to slowly move into the frame so I'm moving the the keyframe all the way out to about 12 seconds so as you can see it's very slowly moving in because we've got an, the enormity of space we're dealing with here so we don't want it to move too fast and Okay, so we got a nice little slow move, and uh, I'm also gonna make a. I'm gonna make this a little bigger first off, and I'm gonna put a keyframe to for scale at the zero second mark, and then uh, we're gonna scale that up a little bit too, so it looks like the meteorite is getting closer to the planet in more ways than one. So let's see how that looks let it render a little bit okay so that looks pretty good so the next thing I want to do is 
I'd like to add that glow, the kind of atmospheric glow. So I want to do layer, layer styles, and then add an outer glow. And again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here, but I like to change this to overlay. I like to change the opacity to 100%. And you still can't quite see it yet. That's because we have to crank the spread up a little bit. So we'll crank the spread to about 7. And we'll take the size way up to about 120, 122. And then I'm going to pump up the range just a little bit to kind of knock that back just a little bit. So now we've got kind of this atmospheric glow around our planet, which adds a little bit more dynamic. And because I set the blending mode to overlay, it's going to affect some of that underlying color as well, which I kind of like. So now we're basically, we've got our background in that motion, and we're ready to do our meteorite. So I want to make this a little bit taller, so I'm going to make a new comp and I'm just gonna try to make this a square so it's already 1920 we'll, we'll crank this up to about 1920 as well um, just so we have a little wiggle room to work with here so what I'm gonna do is first off I'll name this comp meteor comp and then whoop, I'll make a new layer I want to make a new solid and I like to make this black so as some people on Reddit guessed, uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a preset called CC Mr. Mercury. So you can find that by typing Merc, M-E-R-C. It's the only one there. So go ahead and drag that onto the solid. And you can see it gives us this blobby kind of thing. Um, the reason I made this black is because if you make it a lighter color, it'll actually add some shading and, and light to that. We really don't want that. We just want the shapes to happen. So this is the this is the default setting right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the radius X and Y down to zero and then I'm going to do some other things here to get more of the smoke trail that you saw. So I'm going to change the birth rate up to uh, we'll go about four. I already changed the velocity to 0.9. I'm going to move the longevity down a little bit uh, to about uh, 0.8 again you, you don't have to use these exact settings but this is what I've had success with change the gravity uh, we want to move this up to about 5.4 5.5 and next we're going to take the animation from explosive to jet sideways uh, some other ones will work here too but for this exact one this is what I had success with then we want to change the blob birth size uh, move that down a little bit, um, make it so there's not much difference between the birth size and the death size. I want to make the death size just a bit smaller, maybe by about uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.05 I should say. I'm going to move the producer up a little bit in the Y axis so we can see the whole tail of this. And so this producer yeah, will fiddle with the longevity just a little bit it's gonna run off the frame so it's not a big deal so I'm gonna call this smoke because this is gonna be our black base smoke of our meteor the tail of the meteor if you will as it enters the atmosphere so I'm just gonna duplicate that smoke layer because we've already done all the stuff we need to with mercury I'm gonna name this flame and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and f uh, do the fill function drag that right on there and I'm gonna change this to the orange that you saw in the animation. So again, it doesn't have to be exact, just it needs to be a fiery orange. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the longevity. I'm going to dr drag it back down a little bit. Everything else is already done here, so all we have to do is just change this attribute. And it's already starting to look kind of awesome. It looks like fireball with a nice trail of smoke behind it. So I'm going to duplicate this flame one more time and I am going to name this core. This will be kind of the red hot core of the of the fire. I'm going to put this uh, as a white color and then I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay just like we did with the planet earlier. Again I'm going to change the longevity, drag that down so again the core is shrinking a little bit and 
again we don't have to mess with our other attributes this way although I might change the death size just a little bit okay so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use something called the simple choker so if you start typing choke you'll get a mat and a simple choker use the simple choker I'm gonna drag that on my onto my flame layer and I'm gonna pump that up a little bit maybe around 21 20 and I'm gonna drag our smoke back a little bit so it's getting behind the fire alright so I'm gonna drag the opacity of our core down just a little bit so it's not so overwhelming and there you go there's a nice flame that's coming off our meteorite and some black smoke as well let's go ahead and alright I think it's time to make our meteorite so you wanna make a new shape layer I like to use an ellipse here you don't have to draw an exact uh, round circle but I like to kinda start with that and what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, name this meteor so we know what we're at meteorite that is alright everything's looking good I'm gonna go to effects and presets and type roughen again some people guessed at this one on reddit so drag this on to our meteorite, meteorite shape and I'll zoom in so we can see it a little bit better I'm gonna crank the border up a little bit maybe uh, way up about 40 change the edge sharpness a little bit too so it's not getting too fuzzy and then you see these edge types I, I uh, you can experiment with some of these you know you can get spiky balls stuff like that the one that I liked was the cut one I thought that looked that looked the most angular and I've already kind of named it or, or I've already kind of colored it I should say um, that kind of rocky gray that we want with our meteorite so now let's go ahead and position that where we want it maybe bring it back a little bit it's not a big meteor it's a meteorite so we kinda want it to be right at the top of our flame and oops, didn't mean to rotate it there what we're gonna want to do next is we're gonna want to put a little bit of that fade on it a little bit of a, a glow that you saw at the beginning so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an inner shadow again this that's in the layer styles palette so it's got a few things we'll need to tweak here to make this look right so first off want to go ahead and keep the blend mode at multiply I want the color however to not be so harsh I want that to be closer to the actual gray that we picked so you can just eyedropper that Oops. and then uh, what you want to do is you want to turn the choke up all the way to 100% that's going to make it so it's not fuzzy at all there's no blur then we want to crank the size up a little bit as well and then we also want to get that distance uh, let's bring the size back a little bit okay the next thing you want to do is you want to go in your blend options and you want to change the global light angle again remember you have to turn on the global light um, here in this palette um, so do that first I forgot to mention that and then you want to change that um, a little bit so you know you get the right area so now I'm going to actually type in uh, an expression here on the distance so I'm going to type wiggle and I'm gonna have it 210 so every two seconds it's gonna it's gonna change the property of that by about 10 so as you can see that's kinda of making it look like it's it's kinda of got a light flicker going on so I'll go ahead and put that expression um, on the YouTube video so you can see that as well I'm gonna copy the core I'm gonna put that over the top just so we get a little more of that glow flicker and again I'm gonna change the longevity a little bit and uh, there you go you've got it so now I'm gonna go back to my main comp I'm gonna drag my meteorite layer on and let's go down the timeline so it's actually all coming out with our CC Mercury 
you want to go ahead and rotate that at the angle that you desire kind of move that so it's kind of coming off the frame a little bit and we're gonna have this move and bounce a little bit so you want to make sure that it's well off the frame because we're gonna change the Y axis a little bit um, with some of that bounce so and then I'm gonna also hit B to start our animation after all that CC Mercury has has begun so that looks good let me change the render quality a little bit so this will go a little faster alright so that's starting to look pretty good so the last thing that I want to I think I want to do is I want to add a little bit of that position bounce it makes it look like it's kind of getting buffeted by wind or something like that so here's what you're going to want to type we just want to change the Y axis position so if you go ahead and alt click the position type in bracket value bracket zero close bracket comma wiggle and then you want to put your parentheses I'm gonna do one comma 50 so every one second that's gonna go um, about 50 pixels difference so again I'll put this in the YouTube description as well so you can kinda of see that expression and so now you can see as this goes it's kind of just sort of buffeting up and down so it's not just a straight shot it, I think it makes it look like it's a little bit more dynamic looks like it's actually like having some resistance that it's coming into and uh, there we have it let's let that play through and let's bring that down a little bit more I want it to overlap the planet just a tad more as it's coming in there we go again you can do this however you want but um, this is uh, basically my technique for making this meteorite animation and um, from start to finish the only prepackaged part of this was the planet and once again um, you know you can certainly build these in Illustrator or Photoshop or anything you'd like to do you could uh, make it more photorealistic you could make it more cartoony um, I did this as kind of a time saver um, so you can go to vecteasy.com they're not a sponsor or anything like that I just uh, I just like to use them sometimes so I'll, I'll put that path in as well so everyone can go there if they'd like to uh, you know have a ready-made planet to put in um, if they want to follow this tutorial but uh, there you have it and there's our fancy meteorite hurtling towards the hapless planet and um, it's all there for you. No plugins, no muss, no fuss. And I thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you subscribe, and I'll make more of these videos.